this shot right here is what kind of let the world know I was there. You know, I, I, I kind of arrived. So we're going to rewind back to 2011. Big East Championship Tournament. You're taking on Pitt. 74, 74, seven seconds left. Man, when you rewatch this, what's going through your mind and, and what stands out about this moment? My first initial thought right here was to um, just get to the basket. So I seen the way he was playing me. That's why I crossed it back. That's why I brought it back. And I also wanted to, you know, bring Tom down and get the last shot. Um, I'm thinking I can still get to the basket right here, actually, going to the left. But I got it. He think I'm going. So I wanted to go to the basket first um, because he's a bigger guy. So I'm thinking his feet is kind of slow. Um, so that's why I did that move. I, I test him out, crossed him. Then I was going to go with the left, but he was giving me so much space. So that's when I did the step back and the rest was history. I, I actually didn't even see him on the floor at the time. Um, <laughs> everyone else did. I, everyone else did. They told me, but I didn't even see it until I, I got a chance to get back to the hotel room and watch it. This shot right here is what kind of let the world know, you know, that I was, I was there. You know, I, I kind of arrived. Um, even though I had a great season that whole year, this is what everybody remembers me for. Like, even to this day, it's like, forget about your whole NBA career, forget about the full <laughs> all stars. Like, that step back shot in the garden against Pitt was, man, and it's, it's, it's a special shot for me too, man. It was, it was a special time. It was, it was like a movie, man. It's like perfect. Like, I'm from New York in Madison Square Garden, friends and family. Like, this step back? is like the sauciest step back I've ever seen. Like you went from the free throw line to the three point so line. So far. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. I don't know how you still had the legs and the timing after jumping that far. Adrenaline was pumping so hard right there. I wanted to win. Everybody said we couldn't win, man. That was, that was the only thing going through my mind. And then after this call, after you made the shot, the announcer, Cardiac Kemba. I mean, oh, like, that's like nickname, like set in stone from that point on. And yeah. as we all know, the rest is history. You went on to the championship game. You beat Brad Stevens and Butler, so we appreciate <laughs> no it. Thanks problem. for coming to the TD Bank Film Study Room. No problem, Martin. No problem. Thanks for having me.